The ancient Egyptians did not keep their love of felines to a secret. There is a no shortage of cats artifacts, larger than life statues to intricate jewelries. They even had the first pet cemetery known to man 2000 years ago. They believed gods and rulers had cat-like features. Welcome to the Lazy Historian. Let's take a look today on what cats meant to the ancient Egyptians. Cats have always coexisted with humans. Egyptians valued cats as reliable friends. They helped hunting mice, snakes, and scorpions in homes and granaries. The intricate, dual nature of felines gained the admiration of the Egyptians. Felines are graceful, fertile, and gentle, as well as aggressive, quick, and dangerous. According to DNA evidence, wild cats first self-domesticated in Egypt in the Near East around 10,000 years ago, when spotted cats into early agricultural societies feed on rodents and stayed for the free food and back rub from grateful people. The depictions of daily life and paintings on tomb walls are a large part of how we know what cats did in ancient Egypt. Cats are seen playing, chasing birds, and lying or sitting beneath chairs in tomb scenes. Whether or not they were considered to be gods, cats played a significant role in the ancient Egyptian culture. Additionally, they had a significant role in the afterlife. As evidence, cats were not just shown in tomb paintings. Occasionally, cats were mummified and buried with their human companions in hope that they would be reunited with their faithful protectors in the afterlife. Another possible reason on why cats were mummified, they could be used as funerary goods. This meant that the deceased person could inhabit the body of the mummified cat in the afterlife. Hmm. As this is the case across different civilizations and cultures, ancient Egyptians saw royals as what we call them today, influencers. Taking cues from the ruling tastemakers on everything from food to fashion to cats. Cats were held in high regards, not just because of their religious practices, but because kings and pharaohs kept giant cats, dressed them in gold and precious metal, and let them feed from their own plates. The lower class, though, were not able to dress their cats with gold, but they did create their own jewelry with feline patterns, which they wore. Cats were often associated with fertility in ancient Egypt, as seen by the frequent portraits of them sitting beneath women's chairs. The ancient Egyptians had a whole division of their government devoted to the defense of their cat population. Cat exports from Egypt were prohibited. According to a legislation from 450 BCE, killing a cat, whether unintentionally or on purpose, was punishable by death. According to the Greek historian Herodotus reports, Egyptians trapped in a burning building would seek to save the cats before saving themselves or put out the fire. If a cat died a natural death, as a symbol of mourning, every member of the household would shave their eyebrows. If an Egyptian had a dream about a cat, it was thought to bring good fortune. During the Battle of Pelusium, the Persian king Cambyses II allegedly used the Egyptians' love of cats against them in battle. In 525 BCE, according to Herodotus, Cambyses II drove a big pack of cats and other pets in front of his army and had cats painted on the shields of his men. The Egyptians gave up out of fear of slaughtering the animals and upsetting the goddess. Thanks for watching. 